The offense, are they a better offense? Is that part of the deal? They're better competition for you guys? Um, I mean, they've been looking pretty good to me. <laughs> I don't really specialize on the offensive side of the ball, so I don't really know what I'm saying exactly, but on the looks of it, they're looking pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, you guys are all one team, and, right. and clearly you want to see the offense do better. I mean, have you noticed any specific improvements? And it seems like Kirby told us here recently that they were they were striking the blow, that they were kind of taking the fight to you guys at times. Do you see yeah, some man. of that? That's what that's when it comes to us to raise our physicality. They they've raised the bar, so now it's time for us to raise the bar. So I guess, like you said, see anything particular? They've, they've been physical. They've been really physical. How much more different than last year? Like how how striking is the difference? Um, I mean, I can't really give you a scale, but it's a difference, basically. So any difference changes good, and it's for the better, so anything good is, is better. Does there seem like there's a specific reason for it? I mean, personnel isn't um, I don't know whether. I don't know whether it's mentality or, you know what I'm saying, expectations for the year, guys coming back, but I don't know. Like I said, man, I'm a defensive guy. <laughs> I don't really know much about this side. You guys had a chance to actually play some football on Saturday in the first scrimmage. How did it feel, you know, being able to get down the field and play some? It was pretty cool, man. It was pretty. It was really competitive. It was good just to get after it again. I know these are these are our teammates. We're trying to keep each other safe, but it was definitely good for us to go to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Just the feel of how it's really going to be in the game. With Roquan back, you guys have three inside linebackers. Played a lot of football. I mean, you guys kind of rotate in and out. I mean, who? Who's on the cusp? Who's getting ready to kind of make that jump? Who could be the fourth or fifth guy right now based on what you've seen? All those guys have been pushing us, man. All those guys between Jawan Taylor, Tay Crowder, even the young guys, Munty, Jaleel, like everybody's kind of been pushing, trying to get that spot, trying to be that fourth guy. You, you and uh, Roquan, obviously, uh, athletic, uh, two, two years in the program. Reggie's uh, been around a little bit longer. What's he uh, kind of, I think he's kind of, you know, the third guy maybe? This, how do you view him? Is it a veteran guy? What does he bring to the position? He's definitely the vet. Um, anytime any one of us is in with him, he's letting everybody know, you know what I'm saying, where to be, who's, what's your assignment. Like, he, he's just on top of everything, and so he, he does have that veteran role. Is there stuff that you guys can do that maybe he can't in terms of sudden burst and that kind of stuff? I mean, I wouldn't say, man, Reggie's a freak. <laughs> Reggie's a freak too, yeah, man. So I wouldn't say there's really no difference there. Is there ever a time where you get out there and, and maybe you're a little bit lost on something, but Reggie kind of always knows what to do? Oh, definitely. It's, it's times where he puts me in place. So, yeah, like I said, he's, he's on top of a lot of stuff. He's on top of all of it. Are you getting the chance to do that with some of the younger guys, though, as well? Oh, yeah, man. It'd be feeling good to be able to tell someone what it be, knowing the defense a little better, you know what I'm saying, getting the plays down a little better. And it's, it's always good to be able to tell someone where, where else to be. So. For, some, for somebody that's maybe not in the situation like that when the bullets are flying and everything's going crazy, I mean, how important is that to have a guy like Reggie to correct everybody and get everybody in line? It's big, man. It's big. Because, like you said, like everybody doesn't have a chance to be in the fire as often. So you got to get it on a mental standpoint. And you got to have somebody there to be able to help you if you're struggling. So it's definitely important. How are you guys addressing uh, red zone defense, which was not very good last year? Right. Has, that, has that been something that you guys – Need to get better. It can get better. Yeah, definitely, that's definitely been a focus point this spring. Uh, we, we we noted that we was like the 121st red zone defense was outrageous. It shouldn't be like that, and it's definitely been a focus point. Man. Every time we get down there, we're trying to keep the offense up, no so matter what. What are, what are the coaches stressing in terms of how you guys get better in that area? I mean, basically striking blockers. When you when it when it's down there, it's basically mono y mono. Your, your, your playbook short. There's only a few plays you can run. You're not tricking nobody. You just got to win. I know they like to cut up film for you guys and kind of show you, you know, what went right, what went wrong. What were some of your issues last year with the uh, with the red zone defense and, and why you guys finished in the um, one? A, a lot of it came from knockback. We were we weren't really getting enough knockback on the entire defensive side of the ball. Our edges, um, discipline. It's a lot that ties it that tied into it last year. Y'all y'all are playing a lot of marquee games next year, but the game you opened with for Appalachian State, maybe people skip over that one initially. Do you remember anything about them losing to beat Michigan when you were younger? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I remember how close it was with Tennessee last year. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know who was looking over it, but I know we not <laughs> as far as us. But I don't think anybody should look over them. They're a good ball team. What about um, Tay? What, what's he look like this spring versus when he was moved over? over? He's been making a lot of games. He's been making a lot of games. He was one of the guys that came over from the offensive side of the ball. 
So, like, now he's kind of setting it to his own. He's getting the plays down. He knows where to be, and he's going to feel for it. He's kind of an interesting story. I, mean, I think when he got moved from tailback over to right. tailback over. Everybody not able to do it, right? <laughs> Everybody not able to do it. He is, so he's special. Is there any kind of plays he's made that you've seen that kind of stand out? Oh. As far as today or just in and general? And he did something this spring. Oh yeah, man! It was a, I think it was an out route or something, and take on a jump and a pick. But like, he's really athletic, so yeah, he jumped and passes. Was it during eleven? It was during eleven. 11. How, how much bigger has he gotten for you know to, to make that transition from running back to inside linebacker? Like as far as weight wise, <laughs> weight wise, strength wise. Um, Tay's always been pretty pretty uh, big dude. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He, I think he's around like two forty, and he don't look it a bit, but uh, he's about two forty, so. That's solid. So I mean, I don't really think he had to gain weight. I'm sure he's gotten stronger yeah. as all of us have. What do you make of the 